May 2nd, 2023. Surprise retirement party for Dr. Freydun Azizi. And this is <laughs> When he left Iran, I was approximately three years old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I just wanted to say, I mean, obviously, um, the only reason that I that I am where I am and I do what I do is Dr. Azizi. Um, people say that there are many things that in life has sort of taken us here, but if it wasn't for Dr. Azizi, I would not have been here. Um, so. This is sort of incredibly meaningful for me. Um, uh, Dr. Azizi created an environment at St. Joseph Hospital that is, is um, you cannot really replicate it, you cannot duplicate it. Um, it's a, I know I am worrying people that are our current residents, but just bear with me. Um, the um, sort of Dr. Azizi was almost the final gate towards sort of being on your own. As in once you went through his, his rotation, you felt I can handle anything. Uh, it wasn't true, but you know, at least that's, that's how one felt. Um, again, thank you very much. Um, and I know Dr. Rao, you wanna sure. say? Dr. Zizi, on behalf of St. Joe's Hospital, thank you very much for all these years, 40 plus years of true dedication to the patients mostly what you have done and what you continue to do for the residents, uh, including myself, although I'm not a but uh, uh, it's, it's amazing the amount of time you spend. Talking about you know, training so many doctors and residents, it's gonna be a huge withdrawal without you, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll get through, but hopefully you come and visit us, stay, you know, if you're gonna stick around, uh, come and you know, enjoy yeah, the grand round. Thank you very much, you have done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Just, something um, just a little something. This is from Dr. Nora to add to your oh. collection. <laughs> he wanted me to give to you. He apologized that he said sorry you couldn't be here today. Thank you. Um, and then this is from the hospital. Um, I did a poor job wrapping it, but I would like to <laughs> <laughs> like open it and read it. It's, a, it's something written nice and in front of uh, all the, um, your colleagues and residents, so I can help you open it. This is from the hospital. Oh, God. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> sure, I'll read it. <laughs> this is uh, actually Dr. Tasha's uh, wording. So, this is from Ascension St. Joseph Hospital to Dr. Fridun Azizi, MD. In recognition of your indelible mark on the profession and the countless lives you have touched. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to say. It's been a long journey almost 43 years at uh, Columbus and Georgia and there are all of you that I have trained became great surgeons, gynecologists and good friends some of them coming from distance but uh, you know they are all in my heart hopefully it will continue I will stay around and many years to enjoy your future. Thank you. Well, let me introduce myself because I retired five years ago, so you don't remember me probably. I'm Joseph Mazurek, and I enjoy my retirement. <laughs> I really do. It's not like a slogan. I and everybody knows how great doctor you are and what you did 
I don't want to talk about medicine. I, I don't practice medicine. We are great art collectors and antique watches. That's what I remember you. I never forget that trip we went to downtown to that watch, uh, Swiss watch collection. <laughs> I'm trying to continue a little bit, but I am. <laughs> you are not <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy it and good night to you. Thank you. I good friend. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much for, I spent 22 years in uh, St. Joseph. Um, I have to say that you are different, um, kind of different uh, oncologists that I met before and I worked with couple before I came. Um, you all have, uh, Joanne Oncology, you all have skills, tremendous that we need to every day. But there's something that is different between you and others that I met. I think personality. I never met uh, somebody who has skills, but it's the same thing that we ask you every day to save lives and save us also. But I never asked, uh, met somebody with that personality, that you will be always nice, always smiling, always supporting, never um, uh, criticizing, and be 10 minutes from Edit every time we ask you to come. So that's something I don't think, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't think it's gonna happen again, <laughs> so we have to live with that. I'm, I have luck because I'm the oldest probably from all of you here, so I will retire soon after you, but I think that a lot of young residents will miss you because um, they, there is not something that, I cannot describe the feeling that you have, that you have, you're in the middle of in the night, uh, with some case that you don't know how it's going to go, save somebody's life, and you have this comfort that call Dr. Azizi and he will be there in 10 minutes. And uh, I experienced that. So thank you very much for all the yeah, I friendship every, and everything. Every, uh, everybody, as my family, my friends, and my. Then one person was calling uh, Jake, always babe. So I was doing a case at Dr. Azizi. <laughs> and Nathan, if you remember, we, me. Him and you. I called Dr. Zizi twice, babe. <laughs> in the middle of the case. The first one, he didn't hear. But uh, Nathan was verbalizing and laughing, and he made him realize what I say. And then I got so scared, so shy. Less than a minute, again, the second day came. <laughs> And then I said, Dr. Azizi, I'm not going to say any word to the end of this case. And I did it. <laughs> we will miss you. We will miss you. And uh, heads up, girls. He's gone. <laughs> we are all in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Sue, for your help. <laughs> Thank you. I'll jump in for one quick one. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'll tell you, I'll just tell a quick older story. So I grew up on Lakeview, like right here, because um, we were here, and I was right by the Columbus and St. Joe's Hospital. And ever since I was a kid, I'd always hear. This is my dad, by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, <laughs> so I was a kid. I was always running to residents around here all the time, going around. So I was like, I remember 12, 13 years old. This is like 94, and uh, we run into a resident and there, and he's like. Your dad's the best, right? So this is like one of the first times I remember someone saying this. Um, and he's and Pulp Fiction had just come out the year before. And he was like, you, you watch Pulp Fiction? And I was like, I'm 13. <laughs> My Middle Eastern parents did not let me watch anything, you know? Um, so he was like, your dad, they call him the wolf. The wolf was Harvey Keitel's character in Pulp Fiction. And when it hit the fan, they would call this guy in. And this guy would come and clean up everything and fix everything and fix all the problems. So this is the first time I ever hear, remember hearing that, right? And then years go by, and every time I would meet anyone that, or on the street or whatever, they would always talk highly and praise and it's so nice and he wears suits and even now in my surgery center I had someone who a few weeks ago was here and they said he even smelled good right they, they remember this all this good stuff so it was a lot to live up to I went to St. Joe's as a resident these poor guys started calling him in the middle of the night for a call and they should be calling me uh, because we got the same name but what I'm trying to get to is like, <laughs> and he was probably super nice about it and I would not have been that nice getting called in the middle of the night when I'm like 
you know, like older and the <laughs> intern should be getting the call. So anyway, um, when I went to St. Joe's as a resident and uh, with the name Dr. Azizi, it's a lot to live up to because I had been hearing about this for years from everyone I had met about how nice and how good and all this kind of stuff it was. So it was a lot to live up to. And uh, that helped to guide me because I always tried to be super nice and I was like, even if I don't know how to operate, which I didn't when I first started, um, gotta be super nice, gotta be you know really professional and, and, and don't ruin or dilute the Dr. Azizi name. And that was very difficult and I still try to do it. And I wanna say thank you for making it so hard on me, but it's what helped me to get to where I am now and I wouldn't be able to get here if it wasn't for all that. So thank you. I don't think I'll ever actually get to that Dr. Azizi name. No. Oh. Okay, let's have a party! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
two clamps in a V right there. Those are my two clamps and they're going to end right there. And then I can finally cut through my round ligament. And then I'm going to make my bladder flap right over here. And I think that looks like water. That must be the bladder flap. <laughs> You just have to think about it. Yeah, it's very, out there. Very creative. We'll <laughs> go back. We'll She's painting a watch just for you. Yeah, I love doing 
Fibroid uterus looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he shows me pictures. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Honestly, oh, Doctor Azizi's phone. You have to be careful. Yeah, I know. If you just open it up and start scrolling through pictures, you might find something <laughs> really scary out there. <laughs> See, I think they're great though. So is this a fibroid? Yeah, it's an interpretation of a fibroid uterus. You know, it's irregular. <laughs> it's not very really normal. <laughs> oh my it's God. modern art. <laughs> I was gonna put a little bit of orange by my first one. Is that supposed to be a fiber or two, the green one? Well, I thought it was a cactus. <laughs> it's a ca it, can be, it can be whatever you want it to be. This is just retro. That's cool. That is nice. Good. Good. I feel like you have to say that. No, no, no. Actually, looks good. Now we're gonna. Now we're going to make it retro. Um, you know, but I, I don't think I'm going to get out of the way. 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 Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs>
easy. 